Hello, we are in the car for this video. Latest in my music, influencers, and um, bands that really inspired me in my career. Um, this is pretty, it's like real dark, isn't it? There's some lights on in here. Um, so basically, um, we've gone through like the 80s, the 90s, Britpop, and all that sort of thing. And for a long time, I sort of fell out of love with music a bit. I listened, used to listen to older stuff, but none of the new bands sort of did anything for me. Um, I think Muse come along and Coldplay and uh, Foo Fighters and they're just bands that don't interest me to be honest um, even though I appreciate they've got a big following and everything. So anyway, so about say four or five years ago and I first heard the 1975 and it was purely by chance, I think someone posted a link on Twitter about it and I just clicked on it, I was like bored and drunk one night. And it was chocolate and I thought, oh my god, this song is absolutely amazing. Um, so I went and checked out their older stuff and obviously some of the songs that appeared on their first album, the first album wasn't out yet, and one of the songs that appeared on their first, some of the songs that appeared on their first album like Sex and The City, they'd already recorded under before they got signed and stuff. So anyway, so a lot of their stuff was out there and um, I just tracked it all down and just thought wow this is an amazing tune this is an amazing tune proper rock band with attitude um look good good style and everything just amazing songs and i think loud guitars and but good tunes lyrics you can relate to lyrics you can enjoy um so i've been a big fan of him ever since kind of um a funny story i went to see him live about three years ago and I didn't realise that their fan base was all, like, 14-year-old girls, which is, like, really weird. And so I was expecting to go into, like, a rock gig, and it was just full of kids, basically. Um, felt a little bit out of place. Um, and it sort of explains how they've... Because with their second album, they sort of went a little bit less rock, but they still had some amazing tunes on it. Like, the sound is pure pop, but it's just, like, an absolutely amazing tune. Um and like Paris, just great song, and there's loads of great songs on it. And then, but with their latest album, I just think extremely disappointed. He's taken the whole thing a bit too far, and it's. I'm still a fan of the band, and there's a couple of decent tunes on there amongst the not very good stuff, to be honest. I've been really outspoken and critical on their new album. Um, he's just gone all a bit weird, man. Um, well, for vegan millennial just you know it's just it's just not for me the new stuff to be honest um it's coming across a bit pretentious and annoying matty the lead singer um but you know he's been through a lot with his drug had habit and he's got money and he lives in la i think and i guess it just changed look at the attic monkeys their new album absolute shite as well um so I guess at a certain point you can just experiment and do what you want and people will just be like, what, well, no one will be able to tell you no. Um, so yeah, but as I've just slagged them off a little bit, still an amazing band, listen to their stuff all the time. Their first album is just probably one of my top ten albums of all time, which I'll have to do a top ten albums of all time list, I think. That's a good idea. Anyway, so thank you very much. Um, thanks for watching. That was my thing about the 1975. Do you like the band? Let me know. Um, well, what do you think to them, first of all? Do you like them or not? So comment, subscribe, and um, share and stuff. Help me out. Okay, thank you. Bye.